Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up React Navigation with Native Base in React Native. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to install a couple of dependencies into our project. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna install all of them right now in bulk so we don't have to do them later. So I'm gonna do npm install at react-navigation. And don't worry, all these commands are in the description down below, so just go ahead and copy it slash native and then react dash native dash screens and then at react dash navigation slash native dash stack and that's it all right so now that we're done installing all the packages we need to configure with ios and android and the way that we're going to do that for ios is just npx pod dash install ios and for android it's going to be really simple go ahead and open up your android folder and open up your app folder. Inside of there is a source folder. And then go ahead and click on main, uh, Java, and then it's gonna be the main activity right here. And at the very top, all we need to do is do import android.os.bundle, bundle, like so. And underneath line 17, where we have this protected string get main component name, we're gonna add a little bit of code, so we're gonna do at override protected void on create bundle saved instance state. And inside of here, we're gonna do super dot on create, and we're gonna set it to be null. And that's all we need to do. So now we're done with the configuration of iOS and Android. All right, beautiful. So the way that React Navigation actually works is that we have to do a couple of things. And the first thing being is that we need to go into our app.js file. And we're gonna consider our app.js file as the area that's gonna contain all of our individual screens. And those screens will be individual tutorials eventually. But um, right now, what we're gonna do is we're going to contain this native base provider inside of another container. So it's gonna be called navigation container. And it's going to be imported like this at react-navigation slash native and go ahead and encapsulate your app.js file like so in that and that's pretty much all you need to do for that um, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to delete all of this stuff right in here we don't need that and now we need to create um, a stack which is going to contain all of our individual screens and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to create a variable that's going to be contained outside of our const app. We're going to call it const stack is equal to create native stack navigator. And now what we can do is underneath inside of our native base provider, we can do stack dot navigator. And inside of here is where we're going to host all the individual screens. So the way this is going to work is it's going to be the navigation container, our native base provider, and then it's going to be our stack navigator. Inside of the stack navigator is where all of our individual screens are going to go. And so we need to create a couple folders inside of our main folder right here. And let's call that um, components. And inside of components, we'll put in a home screen folder. And right back into components, we'll put in another folder for individual components. So we'll do uh, We'll call it individual tutorials. Individual tutorial components, I think is a better name. Whoa, what is that? Individual components, like so, perfect. And so inside of the home screen, we're gonna create a new file and we'll call it home screen.js. And inside of the individual tutorial component, we'll create a, uh, let's call it button.js which is a tutorial that we're going to cover later on. And so for our home screen, what we're going to do is we're going to create a function. So we'll do const home screen. Let's do export const home screen is equal to, inside of these curly braces, inside of these parentheses, we're going to add curly braces and we're going to call navigation. Now this prop is automatically available to us because our screen is actually part of uh, the stack navigator. So it comes with it and it contains a whole lot of information to allow us to go back a screen, to go to new screens and all that sort of good stuff. 
but after that we're gonna call it as a function and we'll do return inside of, inside of here we'll do a view and we'll call the view from react native inside of there let's do a simple button that we're gonna call as a variant and we should import this button ideally from uh, native base perfect and we'll give it a variant of outline oops outline and on press we want to allow uh, the user to be able to navigate somewhere so thankfully the navigation prop allows us to be able to do that so we're going to do navigation dot navigate 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 there we go and inside of here we actually need to call the um the screen name so our screen name was buttons tutorial let's call it the same thing as this too so let's go ahead and get rid of this so buttons tutorial like so and we'll copy this name right here and paste it inside of there perfect and what we'll say is navigate to a button page perfect and just so the user knows exactly where they are we're going to put a text tag import it from native base and we'll just type in home screen save it let's make it prettier there we go all right so now what we need to do is we need to create the button screen and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to copy the exact same name that we have right here and go into our button.js file we'll do export const buttons tutorial is equal to pass in navigation as a prop and inside here we'll do return and we're just going to copy the exact same thing right here and paste it into here like so and at the very top we'll go ahead and import these two things and what we'll do is instead of doing um well, we can do go back but that's not what we want let's go ahead and let them navigate to a home specifically so the home screen i think that's the name nope just regular home so let's do home like so and we'll call this button screen save this make it a little prettier and let's go ahead and import all the individual components so home screen perfect and buttons tutorial beautiful and now let's go ahead and run this and our navigation should be working perfectly and so i have a little bit of a typo on career it that's not a word so let's go ahead and fix it so on create and add a semicolon in the end because it's java and it needs things like that all right perfect so the build was successful and now if we click on well our initial screen is home screen which is perfect if we click on navigate to well navigate to button page oh yeah that's right navigate to button page if we click on that it navigates to the button tutorial and if we go back it'll navigate back to home uh let's go ahead and fix this to be uh navigate to home page there we go so now we can click it, we can go back to the home page, perfectly fine. And we can also click on this arrow right here, which will allow us to be able to go back to the home page. So now we've implemented React Navigation, and now we can go ahead and review each, um, review and talk about each individual component in the native base library. So stay tuned. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.